Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from My Turntable. Hope you've made a great morning this morning. It is Wednesday morning, as always, a coffee kind of morning. Hope everyone's doing well. I uh, finally get a bit of a break at work this morning to allow you me to do a video. I worked later on this afternoon, but man, work's just dragging me down. Um, I want to share with you some box sets and CDs that I picked up. Uh, lately, I've been getting a lot of vinyl, which has been fantastic. Finding so much vinyl this year was just unbelievable. Uh, but uh, I did order a couple of um, cool box sets, new to me. Um, and a couple I did, I've did i never heard of. And then I, I do have uh, some discography from another band that I um, picked up two more CDs from their for their discography. So I just want to share everything with you uh, and enjoy. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this Please like and subscribe below, uh, please. And thank you. You guys have been fantastic. So many great comments. So many awesome, awesome uh, viewers and, and comments and BCLT and everything else. It's been awesome. Anyway, um, to get started. Uh, this is the Searchers. Six CD box set. Uh, when you walk into the room, the complete pie recordings, 1963 to 1967. It's a six CD package showing their first six studio sorry their first five studio albums and then the sixth is a combination of non-lps and ep tracks so really really cool stuff opens up like such uh it was released in uh 2019 so it's been around for a while but um it comes with a nice booklet i'm not going to show you everything for time but i do want to show you one picture here this is the Mersey Beat. The Searchers joined the Beatles, Celia Black, and Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas in 1964. Look at that shot of all the Beatles along the top there. Um, these guys, the Searchers, became almost as big as the Beatles. Almost. Uh, which is cool. Uh, includes their debut album, 1963, released The Searchers. Okay. In both stereo and mono. Um, plus this one has, uh, three bonus tracks on it, uh, French language version, German language versions of, of, uh, Farmer John. It's been all, it's all been a dream and that's what I want. And this one also has sweets for my sweets, love potion number nine, big, big hit. Um, yeah. And all the albums are on this orange, you red, um, colored CD. Um, you got Mike Pender on lead, uh, lead guitar and lead vocals, John McNally on guitar, Tony Jackson on bass and lead vocals, and Chris Curtis on drums. Okay. The second album, another 1963 release, The Searchers. Again, mono and stereo versions, plus, uh, six bonus tracks on this one as well. Okay. Sugar and Spice is the big hit off of this one. Um, and then you have their third album, 1964. You have 14 tracks, again, uh, mono and stereo, plus uh, four bonus tracks as well. So a ton, a ton of music to listen to. Uh, Needles and Pins is a big hit off of that one. Uh, and then you have, where's my notes here? Um, this is Sounds Like the Searchers, the fourth studio album. Uh, another 25 tracks, uh, including one bonus track. Um, Frank Allen, the bass player, becomes the lead vocals off of off of this one. Then you got their fifth and final album, The Searchers Take Me For What It's Worth. Again, on that orangey red. Uh, 24 tracks with two bonus tracks on this. So... Um, and then the last one is uh, The Searchers, Take It or Leave It, non-album singles and EP tracks. And this one's on a uh, yellowish 
uh, colored CD. But again, 26 tracks on this one. Um, so much to listen to. Uh, nicely packaged, nicely priced as well. And um, the searchers, if you don't know these guys, check them out for sure. Uh, this next band is definitely new to me. Uh, but believe it or not, I, <laughs> I saw it on a Facebook ad. And then I saw um, um, Phil Ashton, who does a great, I love his channel. Um, I can't remember the magazine that he writes for, I'm sorry. But uh, he did a review of this box set, and uh, it caught my attention. Um, bluesy rock, straight ahead rock. Think of maybe Thin Lizzy. Think of Humble Pie. Um, those type of bands and artists. Uh, this is Freedom. Born Again, the complete recordings, 1967 and 1972. Five CD set. Uh, this is a kind of a splinter group, as uh, two of the original members uh, were in Ho Procol Harum on their first album, Whiter, uh, A Whiter Shade of Pale, that type of hit. Uh, formed by guitarist Ray Royer and drummer Bobby Harrison, again, original members of Procol Harum. Um, Gary Brooker didn't he didn't want them in the band he let them go they formed the splinter group freedom and uh yeah psychedelic rock blues rock at its best uh these guys it's i'm really really pleased with this one uh this is a cool cool band um and my notes are all over the damn place here um So this is, I get a nice, not as big as the Searchers booklet, but um, there they are there. Some cool, cool stuff. Uh, these guys end up touring with uh, Black Sabbath and some heavy, heavy bands. I found every album uh, that they put out um, got a little heavier. And, uh, yeah. You've got disc one. Um, this is uh, Nero <laughs> Nerasu Bianco. Um, a film score. There's the Okay, and you got Freedom, Freedom at Last. This is a great album. There's the boys there. Again, they're all on that yellow, sorry, that yellowish uh, looking CD. <clears throat> and they have self-titled Freedom. And then this is uh, through the years. Then you have uh, more than a word. Um, if you love blues rock and psychedelic rock and um, Cool guitar licks and the blues. This is the one for you. Uh, so, um, Nero Subbianco, uh, 1968 release. Uh, you've got um, 10 tracks, plus you've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 bonus tracks on that one. Uh, this too is Freedom at Last, 1969 release. You've got uh, 12 tracks plus two bonus tracks. This three is Freedom. 1970 release you've got uh, eight tracks and three bonus tracks this four is through the years 1971 six tracks and disc five freedom is more than a word 1972 release you get eight tracks on this one uh this box set came out in um 2023 so fairly recent but uh i've never seen these guys in the wild Ever, never heard of them before this time, but I'm so happy that I have them in my collection. Awesome, awesome band. Um, this is, uh, yeah, so good, so good. 
And then finally, the, um, the two CDs that I picked up are, uh, let me make sure I don't get my notes. I picked up uh, Quicksilver's second studio album, Messenger Service. This is a great album. A great album. Um, I love Quicksilver. Uh, again, blues rock at its best. Um, you've got uh, John uh, Capolino. Uh, you've got Greg uh, Elmore. you got Gary Duncan and David Freeberg. Only, uh, I guess there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine tracks on this one. Ten tracks on this one. That's uh, their second studio album. Um, recorded from two performances at the Fillmore East West, East and West, sorry, a 1969 release. So, so good. And then I found uh, another one here. This is Rare Tracks from Quicksilver Messenger Service. This is before their first debut album. Um, you've got... Uh, I kind of found it... I've got to live, give it another listen. I find it very raw, uh, but still some cool, cool tracks. Um, 11 tracks on this one. Uh, from 1967 Sessions. Uh, a lot of outtakes, that type of thing. But there's the list there. Um, this one came out in um, 2011. And then I already had... <clears throat> I already had... Uh, Where are my notes, man? They're all over the god darn place. Uh, Live at the Old Mill Tavern, 1970. Um, and this album came out in uh, 2023. Awesome live album by Quicksilver Messenger Service. Okay. It's a double album. It's on uh, beautiful purple vinyl. Can't really see that from the light, but it is purple. <laughs> Actually, sorry, it's on black vinyl. I thought it was purple because when you look at it, certain light is purple, but it's it's black vinyl. Um, you got Subway, The Truth, Mon uh, Mona. Baby Baby, Rain, Mojo, Blue, Blues Jam 1, Blues Jam 2. I got Dino Valenti on vocals, Gary Duncan on guitars and vocals, John Capolina on guitars, Nicky Hopkins on keyboards, uh, David Freeberg on bass and vocals, and Greg Elmore on drums. Fantastic live album. And this was a BT, BCLT from Luis Martinez um, just a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is Just for the Love. Or just for love it's a great album sounds really really good and i'm so appreciative for that it's on the capital label with the mofi sleeves thank you lewis again you're awesome but um same players on this one as well and uh yeah i'm really happy with this album wolf run part Wolf Run, Part 1, Just for Love, Part 1, Cobra, The Hat, Freedom Flyer, Gone Again, Fresh Air, Just for Love, Part 2, and Wolf Run, Part 2, from the great Quicksilver Messenger Service. So there you have it, guys. There's some cool box sets and CDs uh, to add to my collection. So happy to have these in my collection. Um, such great bands that I've discovered and added to my collection with the uh, existing discographies. And uh, you guys are amazing. Hope you enjoyed. Please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you all. And we'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye now.